the passage of the Coastal Zone Act now protects the blackbird's coastal habitat, but does not ensure the future of its inland corridor. Fortunately, as more Delawareans discovered the blackbird, there are signs that the values that have historically protected it are alive and well. I think there's a reawakening and an expansion of that stewardship and environmental ethic that the longtime landowners have. Folks that have moved there for the same reasons people have been moving there for centuries to get away have, are take, stepping up and taking an interest in what is happening in this watershed. A lot of the farms, our neighbors and all, have put their land in farmland preservation, which we have done. So that will be in farmland open space for years and years. In addition to individual efforts, there is the continuing work of nonprofit groups committed to protecting the blackbird and its surrounding habitat. We've protected about 4,000 acres there, but there are pieces that could be brought together. There's still inholdings. There's still areas that have to be expanded. Meanwhile, the Nature Conservancy is working with a number of partners, including landowners, to develop the Blackbird Millington Corridor Conservation Area Plan. From our perspective, we want to um, be able to sustain those plants and animals that, that call this corridor home. Um, but from a broader community perspective, we also want to be able to sustain the kind of rural lifestyle that then supports this kind of use in the corridor and the kinds of conservation that have happened here. Finally, there are the efforts of the Delaware National Estuarine Research Reserve, a partnership of the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The reserve has long recognized the value of the blackbird and has monitored its ecology since 1993. Because the blackbird is so clean, it is a recognized control site for monitoring how watersheds react to increasing development pressure. We're analyzing what areas we need to protect to keep the environmental quality the way it is. We accept that development is coming. It's a natural expansion of uh, activities that are going on. And what we want to do is offer some options and solutions to help balance the needs of the system as well as balance the needs of the citizens of Delaware. The reserve is striking that balance in several ways through the purchase of conservation easements and the acquisition of properties critical to the continued protection of the blackbird. A good example is the recent purchase of the former Odessa campground. In the next few years, virtually all of the existing infrastructure will be removed and the land will be reforested. Yet at the same time, there will be provisions made for public use. The blackbird component of the reserve has traditionally been managed as a research environment so we try to limit or at least control the access to it so that we can make sure that our research is not impacted or education efforts aren't impacted. This newest site allows us to develop a public access plan to meet the needs of the community while at the same time using the opportunity to educate them on what the reserve is doing and to show them that we are practicing what we preach. By buying and restoring desirable properties, purchasing conservation easements, and conducting research and public education, the reserve is building upon the traditions and values that have protected the blackbird since it was first settled. And for those who shared this vision early on, there is a growing feeling of satisfaction. Yeah, I am optimistic. Um, when I first started working for Wildlands, I, I wanted to see everything next year. And it took me until about 10 years ago before I realized this isn't a short-term thing. This is still going to be going on long after I'm gone, and probably long after my successor is gone. And since the Coastal Zone Act was passed, there's been a major, major successful effort uh, with the Delaware Wildlands, Nature Conservancy, the state of Delaware buying up the land, using federal funds in many cases, and thus protecting it in perpetuity. Now, a lot of the land has been put in farmland preservation, so we hope enough more will be put in that will preserve this area. It's one of the prettiest areas in the state. Well, just hope that 
The generation coming after us will be as proud of it as we are and, and do their very best to take care of it and not pollute it and hopefully keep it as, as pure as possible for ever. <laughs>